I was born at 8.25 a.m. on September 28th, 1998 in Victoria, B.C., Canada. <laughs> to two loving parents, Graham Story and Susan McNeil. This is my mom. If I only had one sentence to describe her, I'd say that she's a really good person. She's a nurse with a global health degree who travels around the world to make people's lives better. Here's a picture of her in Bangladesh. Oh, and she also wanted me to say that she speaks fluent Spanish. Andrea. This is my dad. In a sentence, I'd describe my dad as a crazy go-getter rebel anarchist with a cause. Boy. If you've seen Boyhood, he's Ethan Hawke, except he was always around. Sometimes in this life, you gotta fight. He sits me down once a year and tells me, don't do drugs, stay in school. And then when no one's around, he adds in, fight the man, fuck the system. When I was one year old, I moved to Vancouver, where I lived for three years. Then I moved to New York City when I was four. <laughs> My mom once told me that on the car ride toward New York, I looked sad and asked to go home. When asked where home was, I replied, Motel 6. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York City, making a career out of magic, tomfoolery, and general rambunctiousness. Then my mom signed me up for a theater class, where I played a disgruntled taxicab driver in my first play. That's where I had my first taste of storytelling. I picked up the stand-up bass and made my first film with my crazy stepmom, Marnie. Brooklyn, New York, and here's a tour of our neighborhood. And my assistant today is... Dexter Story from Canada. Nice. Then when I moved back to Vancouver in 2008, I picked up the fiddle and started taking acting more seriously. In 2014, I moved to Toronto to go to an acting school. Now I live in Montreal. I study engineering at McGill University, and in every second of spare time, I make films, do photography, graphic design, and run a t-shirt printing business where I'm a fashion designer. I love to tell stories, I love to collaborate, I love to create. Now that I'm 18 years old, I'm, I'm being asked the big question. You know, the one that your parents sit you down to ask, what do you want to be when you grow up? And the truth is, I have no idea. All I do know is that I love to create. I love to tell stories. And I'm going to keep doing that for the rest of my life. One eternity later. Three days seconds later. The reason I'm making this video is because a little company that you've probably never heard of called Adobe. The second largest software company in the world has this project called the Creative Residency Project, and I really want to be a part of it. Basically, they fund starving artists like myself for a year to do a creative project of their choice. This is my last bank statement. Money, money, money. This is my last meal. Money, money, money. Must be funny. So you see, all of my creative projects have been coming out of my own personal pocket, which means that sometimes I don't get to do the projects I really want to do. So I'll say this, dear Adobe, pretty please accept my application to be your creative resident so I can keep doing what I love, telling stories and making art.